Oh, yes, I do enjoy these Zoob meetings. Mm. Who's Zoobing who? Oh, <laughs> somebody Ooh. please tell me what she's on about, because I haven't got the faintest idea. What? <laughs> Quite all right. Well, uh, hello again, everyone. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hello. Hi, and Thanks. thank you hello. all for coming along to tonight's virtual meeting of the... Um, Sorry, Peter. Have we started yet? Sorry? Have we started yet? Well, I, I, I'm just doing the introduction. Um, we haven't uh, really started as such. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> it's timing, you see. Timing? Of the meeting, uh, the 40 minutes. I need to set my stopwatch. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I, I see. You'll need to let me know when to set it going. Well, yes. Yes, the meeting has started. Has it? When did it start? Well, just now, when we all came online, when we all saw each other. Oh, dear. Uh, yes, so, uh, as I was saying, I've had a, a couple of days since the last meeting to consider the casting. And I'm, I'm pleased to be able to announce. I haven't got it set, you see, um, for 40 minutes. Can we start again? Not really, Ernie. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Set it for a few minutes less, Ernie. I'm not sure I can do that, Jack. I mean, how long have we been going up? I need to know how long we've been going so I can deduct the, uh, the minutes from the original 40 minutes, you see. Uh, um, four minutes and 23 seconds exactly. Really? Mm. Oh, I, I don't think I can set it to seconds. Well, oh. set it to 35 minutes, Ernie, and let's get on. Oh, uh, right, all right. Well done. Oh, I do think these Zoob meetings are so much fun. Uh, what's that, Philomena? These Zoob meetings, they're so much fun. Ah, Zoob, yes. Yes. Can we get on, please, Peter? What? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, right, well, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, after due consideration over the last two days, uh, can you just hold on a moment, Peter? Oh. I haven't got it set yet. Uh, only I, well, I don't really think we need to... Um... Hold on. Hold on. Okay, Peter, go. What, now? Yes, yes, Peter. Come on, uh, start now. Uh, the clock is ticking. Right. Um, yes. Uh, okay. I expect, Peter dear, that you're going to tell us how you've cast the play. Yes, yes, that's right, I was. Thank you, Philomena. Yes, the, um, <clears throat> the um, casting of the importance of being earnest. <laughs> A job of uh, immense importance, which I have been in earnest to do fairly. <laughs> Yes, well, well, it, it, it's not been an easy task. I mean, you're all so talented. The Pilchard Players is such a, a lucky group to have such a, a cornucopia of talent under its roof. Peter, could you just tell us who is playing what, please? Yes, Peter, put us out of our agony. Yes, yes, of course. The, um... The casting, then, of the uh, Pilchard Players production of um, The Importance of Being Earnest. <clears throat> Without further ado, I'm very happy to say that I've been able to give everybody a part. Look, who's playing Lady Bracknell? We're all in good time, Dave. So, the, um, the casting for The Importance of Being Earnest is as follows. Jack, would you play Jack, please? Oh, fantastic. I don't even have to remember my own name. 
Lucy is playing Gwendolyn. Oh, thanks, Peter. Yes, it's a lovely part. I thought you'd do really well. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure, Lucy. Who's playing Lady Bracknell? Ruth is, uh, is playing Cecily. Dave is playing Merriman. Uh, he's the butler, you know, Dave. I'm playing a butler. No, 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 not you, Dave. The, uh, the other Dave. Do you mean Dalek Dave? <laughs> yes, there's uh, too many Daves in this play, aren't there? Me? Yes, Dave, is, is that okay with you? Yes. Uh, who did you say I was playing? Merriman, the butler. Oh, uh, thank you. Good. <clears throat> <laughs> now it starts to get really confusing. Oh, can I just ask Dave? Yes. Uh, no, not you, Dave. The uh, other Dave. Me? Yes, Dave. Um, why have you got that Dalek just there? Yes, I've been wondering that too. Yes, I mean. mm. I, I thought this was the meeting to talk about Doctor Who. Uh, Sorry. But, <laughs> You said that we would have a meeting to talk about the merits of uh, Doctor Who. Did I? Oh, oh, <coughs> yes, yeah, Peter. I remember that distinctly. Oh, oh, yes. Well, no, no sorry, Dave. We'll uh, we'll just have to do it another time. This is the the meeting for the casting of the play and the start of rehearsals. If we don't run out of time again. 24 minutes left, Peter. I we think. still don't know who's playing Lady Bracknell yet. Oh, <laughs> I think we do. Can you just tell us the rest of the cast, Peter, now? Yes, of course. As I said, this is where it becomes a, well, a little bit confusing. Where there's the uh, greatest potential for certain complications. See, I, I'd like Ernie to play John, and John to play Ernest. You see, <laughs> Ernie, uh, Ernest, playing John, and John playing Ernest. Yeah, it, it's a bit confusing, I accept, but rather clever casting, if I say so myself. I, I think you'll find that they're the same person, Peter dear. No, uh, Philomena, Jack is playing Jack. Same name, remember? But Jack and John are the same character, Peter. No, there's a Jack and there's a John. They're different. But as I said, I think you'll find they're the same person, Peter, dear. Are they? Yes. No, I, I don't think so. And there isn't an Ernest in it either. Um, oh yes, there is, David, because I'm playing him. You see, David, you see, David John's playing Ernest. Have you actually read the play yet, Peter? Of course I have. <laughs> the importance of being Ernest. And John is playing Ernest. It's the most important part. <laughs> the title tells you that, David. Oh well, does it? If you say so, Peter. Well, I thought Lady Bracknell was the most important part. They're all equally important parts. <laughs> and we still don't know who's playing Lady Bracknell yet. I know, Dave, I know, yes, I'm, I'm coming to that. I don't think it's fair to say Merriman's a very important part. He's just a butler. Well, he's important in his own way. And there's still the question of Jack and John. What question? Whether they are the, the same character or not. Uh, 20 minutes left, by the way, Peter. Yes, Peter. Do you think you could let us know the rest of the casting, Peter, dear? We're all dying to know who's playing Lady Bracknell. Well, yes. yes. Shall we just crack on with the rest of the casting and, and work out the finer details later? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. 
Jack and John, Ernest. Up to you, Peter. You're the director. Yes. So, where were we? Well, I'm playing Jack. That's Jack playing Jack. Yeah, and I'm playing Ernest. I'm playing John. Ridiculous. And uh, David, I, I, I'd like you to play Lane. Dave, I'd like you to... Uh, just a moment. I'm playing Lane, did you say? Well, yes, David. Is, is there a problem with that? Well, yes, Peter. I rather think there is, as a matter of fact. Lane is a manservant. Yes. That's right. A very nice part. A manservant. Well, that's right. But not just a manservant. The manservant. I don't play servants, Peter. In all my time with the Pilchard players, I have never played a servant. It's just something I don't do. Oh, to be a challenge for you then, David. <laughs> yeah, be a stretch for your acting talents. Be quiet. <laughs> well, Peter? Well, I... Look, can we just have the rest of the cast in, please? You just got to me. Yeah, shall we just hear who else is playing the boss? I'm not playing a servant. Oh, David, dear. <laughs> We can't always have the parts we want, you know. There has to have a bit, a little, little bit of give and take. <laughs> I'm not playing a servant. Give Peter a chance, David. Let's hear the rest of the casting and then who knows, there might be a little <laughs> bit of negotiation. I'm not playing a servant. Look, you can play Ernest if you want. I don't mind swapping with you. I will play a servant. There's no Ernest in it. Oh, I think there is. Isn't there? Look, can we just please have the rest of the cast, Peter? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. Well, um, Dave is Algernon. What? Philomena is Miss Prism. <laughs> and Sabrina will play Lady Bracknell. Oh, thanks, Peter. That's lovely. So, that's the casting. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> well, that took a bit of doing. 27 minutes to be exact, uh, which means we've got 13 minutes left. <laughs> Thanks for the time check, Ernie. Let's get on then, eh? Now, then, shall, we, uh, shall we turn to page one, everyone, and start from... <coughs> no, no. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm just a little taken aback. Philomena, is something wrong? Yes, yes, I'm afraid there is. I'm a little surprised at the way you've cast this play, Peter. Surprised? Hmm, and more than a little disappointed. Disappointed? In you. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed, Peter. But not the part you thought you'd get, Philomena. Just Jack. Uh, not enough handbags in the part, eh? What's John? Well, Philomena, look, I, I, I've tried to be fair to everyone. Have you? Yes, of course. And this prism is a wonderful character. Very multifaceted. Like a name. Prism, you see? No. I don't think I'm right for the part, that's all. At least you're not playing the servant. Well, perhaps you'll give it a go, eh? Peter, when we emailed, you said... What did Peter say, Philomena? <clears throat> Nothing. I hope there's not been any pre-casting going on. Of course not. Perish the thought. <laughs> yeah. I hope nobody's promised to sleep with the director just to get the part that they want. Eh, eh? It didn't work for me, Jacko. I promised. Bro, Ernest doesn't seem to have any lines. That's because there's nobody called Ernest in the play. No. Oh, I think there is, David. It is. Look, 
how about it, Philomena? Hmm? Look, just read Miss Prism for me tonight. No, Peter, I'm sorry, I don't think I can. Oh, come on, Philomena. As you told David earlier, we can't always have the part that we want. We have to give and take a little bit. I think I can hear Arthur calling me. Are you sure? I hope he's still not suffering. <laughs> he's not suffering, no. Uh... Yes, he's definitely calling me. Oh. Run out of bog rolls again. <laughs> Excuse me, I must go to him. Atrocious! <laughs> ah. I'd give my life to that day of the company. What have they done? Bloody Miss Prism! Ooh! Woohoo! Did you watch oh, oh. Her there a bit, Peter, mate? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm, I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> Poor old Arthur! <laughs> Eight minutes to go, Peter. Yes, well, uh, look, perhaps we should get <laughs> as far as we can in the, uh, in the time we've got left, eh? <laughs> go from page one, it's uh, Algernon on, and uh, Lane. So, uh, David, David. I'm not reading the servants, Bob. <laughs> well, to be honest, Peter, I'm not too keen on Algernon either. Oh, you'll both be fine. Trust me. I'm not reading a servant. <laughs> um, Why don't the two of you just swap parts? Just from now, so we can just start? Great idea, Lucy. Thanks ever so much. Something rather pointless to me. No, it's a great idea. Well, what about it, chaps, eh? Swap? Just for now. Oh, all right. I must. David? Oh, very well. In the interest of the pilchard players. But this isn't over, Peter. Not by a long chalk. Okay. Act one, scene one. Off you go. There's no scene one, Peter. It's just act one. And four minutes, by the way. From the start of the play, then, hmm? Look, we're in the, uh, the morning room of Algernon's flat in Half Moon Street. Algernon has been playing the piano in the next room and enters as Lane is arranging the tea table. Okay, off you go. Did you hear what I was playing, Lane? I didn't think it polite to listen, girl. I'm sorry for that, for your sake. I don't play accurately. Anyone can play accurately but I play with a wonderful expression. As far as the piano is concerned, sentiment is my forte. I keep science for life. Yes, go. And uh, speaking of science for life, have you got the cucumber sandwiches cut for Lady Bracknell? Yes, go. Why are you saying gov all the time? It's sir in the script, Peter. Why is he saying gov? Yes, David, it does say sir in the script. Well, in, in my script, anyway. So, I'm interpreting the character. He's a servant, so he's one of the lower classes. Will he say gov? Yes, but Priestley, uh, sorry, uh, Oscar Wilde has him say yes, sir. I, I, I don't think we should be tampering with the text. Well, it's a, it's a classic, you know. Sir just doesn't feel right to me. But I think he'd say gov. That's how I'd like to play it. We're not playing it all day. We're just reading it in for David. Sorry, Ruth. Can't hear you behind that mask. Oh, I do wish you'd hurry up. I'm dying for my cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> Two minutes. Two minutes, Peter. Oh, I've had enough of this. It's a farcical travesty. I'm going. But how do you switch this thing off? Uh, just click leave, David. The red icon at the top. I, what? I haven't got one of those. Oh, 
Good God, this production's a joke. It's the most inept and shambolic load of bull. Oh. Who's doing it? It's about it. <laughs> One minute, Peter. Well, perhaps we should um, leave it there for tonight, eh, ladies and gents? <laughs> look, look, we, we, we've had a few hiccups, but I think, on the whole, we're off to a good start. So let's all uh, read through our lines before our next get-together and get familiar with, with them. Get to know your characters, eh? And then next time we can we can really get going in earnest. <laughs> oh, yes. <that's... laughs> yeah, we we saw what you did there, Peter. Yes, very quick, Peter. Yeah, that's mm. my razor sharp edge sense of humour. You see, yeah. Yeah. in the about. face of all adversity. <laughs> Don't push it. Sorry, Gabe, I, I, I didn't quite catch that. I said goodbye. Well, yeah, right. Well, uh, until next time then, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Um, yeah. Um, bye. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. I just want to say thanks, Peter, for giving me the part. Lady Bracknell, <laughs> lovely role. Well, uh... And as I promised when I phoned you, I'll say thanks properly when lockdown's over, when we can get together. Yes, well... Uh... And you know me, Peter, you know how grateful I can be. Well... Or you will do, Peter, just as soon as lockdown's over. <laughs> it's a it's a good job all the screens are off. I've been signed off. Eh? I mean, if they heard this, uh... Christ! Philomena's screen is still on. Shh! She won't have heard, Peter. She stormed off. But what if she did? Oh, don't worry, Peter. Just end the meeting now. Bye, Peter. After lockdown, remember. Yes. Lovely. Bye, Sabrina. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs>